Oh, okay. Do you what? Steve, you don't mind. I'm saving it for you. All right. Okay. To grow up. The grass died last year. <laughs> Just weeds died. Yeah. <laughs> the good kind of weeds, not the other stuff. <laughs>
um, it's like repair on the uh, police chief's backup and um, clean up uh, the backup and driver uh, routine services on my computer and then um, also on the police chief uh, backup services and the judges uh, backup services. But we don't do certain things, we're not going to honor our we yeah. We're just saying, you know, our computer guy. Did y'all ever check into the telephone situation? Uh, Local Government Code 2012 pamphlets for the police department. No. Is this city reimbursed for that expenditure? No. Is this city supposed to pay for it? What number are you on? Number 26. I didn't know if that didn't come out of the municipal court. That book probably went to the municipal court. I don't know. Yeah. You think that did go to municipal court, right? I don't know. I don't know which one it was. Texas Local Government Code 2012 pamphlets. It's just no, I did not receive that. That's the government code. I, th I think that went to the. Yeah, it just says, is this the city or somebody? Yeah, because it was two. It's, it's the new update book. It's a government code book. Maybe in the mayor's office. Or the police department. We need to check that because I yeah. thought it doesn't say it did go. I thought to the police department. Well, we Our son, I don't know. Maybe Chalina's desk. I don't know. <coughs> what is it, an invoice? It's a book. It's the government code book. It's the new 2012 edition. Oh. So, Angela, on, on the cut, <coughs> okay, picking up those animals, uh -huh. is there two on here or is there more? Just two? Yeah, just two. Okay, now how many animals was that? Okay, on number 35, she picked up one puppy. Okay. On number 37, she picked up three. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good break. They got three of them. Yeah. <coughs> or a little bit of a break, I should yeah. say. Well, compared to where they were, what are those ones up Kilo Land? Somewhere? Those are the ones in, in Briarwood Bay. Briarwood Bay? Okay. Yeah. Well, those are Kilo Land, and she just took it up on her own notion to pick up that time when we told her not to do that again. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. You know? I mean, um, I, I don't know. You tell me. I think what? She charges to pick up the dog. And then she turned around and sell it. Who cares? I'm like, no, I'm thinking. Oh, we got, a, we, got a, we got a good deal going on. But you know what? I was just thinking about these uh, expenditures the city puts out. One thing I didn't see in, in, in these uh, regulations here, I didn't see any fines in there for dogs being doped off. And they are being doped off. I wish we could put that in there. Yeah, but I'll forget it by then. Oh, 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 you oh, that was for the city, the court, police, and fire department. For, that was for four domain names for a year. Does that mean we're going to be having another website? It's a possibility. I'm decided to. I think it would be an excellent idea. We're not even going there right now. <laughs> we got a good reason. I'm just telling you, I think it would be a great idea to do that. No idea. We've got to find a third party to no. maintain it. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't have a problem with check registration. Okay. okay. I, d I do I want to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 45 through 49 should have been dated uh, March the 1st. That was my mistake. I just wanted y'all to know that those are actually March, March, March uh, bills. you know, March 1st bills, and uh, so I didn't date them the correct date, so they're showing up on this check register. Yeah, they have to be too quick, huh? Yeah. Okay. How many do you have? I just. Oh. Oh, 
other than number 20, what was it? Probably I don't know. 26. Uh -huh. I'll not think much we accept the. Uh, some other question. That's fine. If, if you don't mind. On the, um, there's a deposit from Southside mm -hmm. for 6000 Where is that money? What, what is that money? Which item? Uh, uh, where you at? me number 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Mm -hmm. That was money from Southside that I deposited into the uh, general fund to make the uh, pay the bills. But I mean, is the money that's in Southside, is that, what is, where did that money come from? That actually came from a, well, that $7,000 come from, man. Mm -hmm. It was a rebate of, what was it? Who paid off well, the I taxes? To, I would have to look back on that to make sure. I don't want to tell you wrong. Uh, yeah, wasn't, I it, to, wasn't it truly valid? It, it might have been. <laughs> It might have been. It's so, like it, once a year they, 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 they get a franchise. They, yeah, it's a franchise type thing. thing. Yeah. So I, I took the money, I, I put it in the south side, and uh, we needed it to pay bills, so I'll put it in the general fund. That's not that's a loan, that's the truck payment. That's, that's, that's for the fire truck. And that's the fire truck? Yeah. For well, rescue, rescue One? <coughs> yeah. Rescue know. One? I believe so. Is, is that, is wait, a minute. Minute. wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the, that's the main engine, isn't that's the it? The big, no, Rescue no, no, One. No, no, the the double bed and white and brush truck. No, that's not the truck. It's not. The first one and the first paint. Oh, that's right. It's the big one, the new one. It's oh, the new one. Yeah. Oh, red one paint Yeah, that was all this big paint. That's all we owe is on that one. That's it. Well, then that's pretty well new then. Yeah, that's what well, maybe. Old, I couldn't get you balance old. right now. I'll get it for you later. I think that's, that that loan would be about a year old, so I don't know what we took that out for. At that amount, it must have been no longer than 36 months, right? I don't know. Y'all did it before I got it. I just paid so it. So it's a year old. Angela answered that question for me about. I think maybe it was right after, or was it right after the last meeting, maybe? Perhaps. Do you remember that? It was time? around $21,000 left on it. But, you know, I don't know that. Well, you I, I didn't know the terms. I don't know the terms on it. He did it. Any other questions? I don't have any. How about the motion we accept it? As is. Unless anyone has any other questions. I just have a question about 26. I just want to find out. 26? Okay. Yeah, I will check into that tonight. I've got a we, notation. We, well, let's get the motion out of here. And I still would like to voice my opinion that I think some of these things before we write the check, we should get council approval before we do it. So I'd like to see that happen there. Duly noted. The motion on the floor. I want to make one. You made one. Okay, you second it? I'll make, I'll make one before. Okay. There's been motion so, and okay. second that we accept check for the register. Second. What, what, okay. Okay. Did Mike. Lee? Mike I, I second. Okay. Mike seconded it. Lee, you made the first motion on that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. I got it. Any other questions? Questions? All in favor? Hey, Bob and Ms. Draw. Okay. Okay. Moving along. Uh, where are we at? Cloy, Mr. Cloy Richards. Oh, Is that there. you, sir? Yes, sir. Please come on up. Thank you. I dropped off some uh, material at uh, uh -huh. around the table a little bit. I'm here to talk to you all about the home program. Mm -hmm. uh, come on back here. I didn't, I didn't know where you stood, so. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. Because if this program is anything like what we're hearing, Man, it's going to do wonders for the city. <laughs> I mean wonders. So I, I don't want to take any of your thunder. I kind of, we kind of spoke a little bit about the last meeting, the little bit that me and the fire chief knew. Right. So we, we could have been in the left field, so he's just straight it up. For and I was, I was doing a home presentation yeah. at Wolf I heard that. I, I heard, heard so. I heard, yeah. And uh, we've got a current project going in Berryville right now. Right. And I'm speaking with uh, Frankston Economic Development Corporation in uh, April. Right. Uh, a project over there. So in a nutshell, home uh, comes in and builds six homes, uh, maximum six homes. It's a half a million dollar grant. Uh, this is HUD money that's funded, uh, that's funneled through the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. Right. And that's who we'll actually make the application to. 
Uh, our company is your current grant consulting company. We're the ones responsible for taking the grant that's up there. The we're wall. not going to go there. You're on my good side. Right? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying we are We are the ones that were responsible for obtaining that money. That's the worst uh, thing. We are, uh, we are the number one provider of home services in Texas. We are also the largest consulting firm in Texas. Right. Uh, I live in Lake Tawakini, so I'm a remote employee. We're headquartered in Austin, but I, I work out of my house. Beautiful up there in Lake Tawakini. It is. I like it a lot. Yeah. So uh, this, uh, the, the whole thing about home is that uh, it comes in and it replaces dilapidated, dilapidated worn out houses where the property owner just can't afford to make the repairs necessary to the home. Uh, it will build a total of six, up to six homes uh -huh. in town. Uh, the qualifications for the program, uh, people have to meet strict income guidelines. Uh, those end time guidelines are verified through tax returns, bank statements, savings certificates, all that sort of thing. Um, and that will be something that we will be involved in that process should you guys choose to go along with the program. Uh, the average, the, uh, the homes we're building now are 1,100 square feet. Um, we were able to brick the last three sets of homes because of the bids that we got. We don't guarantee they'll be bricked, but we do, you know, we, if we've got enough money in the pro we have to spend the money on the house anyway. Uh, the last homes that we built, we are also being, we were also able not to just put the washer dryer connections in, and actually give them a washer dryer. That's right. Uh, so any, anyway, a resident would come to City Hall. Uh, we will do an intake. Right. Uh, we'll have staff here. They'll come in with their paperwork. We'll take their applications. We'll ask them four or five magic questions because it says they, they say no to any of them. We'll say thanks for coming, but you don't qualify. They have to live in the city limits. Never one. They have to meet the income guidelines and that sort of thing. Uh, they have to be current on their property taxes or they can't apply. They have to be current on their utility bills or they can't apply. So there's there's certain rule, there's certain five magic questions that we ask when we do an intake and that saves everybody a lot of time mm -hmm. and a lot of paperwork. Uh, we will be the ones that will be responsible for the bulk of the paperwork. We will dump a little bit of it on your staff. <laughs> Just like the other programs they manage, there is some paperwork that's required. It's HUD money, there's all kinds of strings attached to it. I know about these grants. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. The, the, the money pays your organization to pay for out of the grant, or does the city, is that part of the 2000 or whatever it is that the city puts up? A little of both. Uh, and actually, actually, now that the, used to this was just an outright grant. Mm -hmm. Now it's a forgivable loan. If people are at or below 30% of national median income, then they, it's a five-year forgi forgivable period. We call it affordability period. In, in other words, if, they, if their uh, uh, employment changes or their wages escalate, then they would actually go into a loan status and no more. Every money. six months, income is verified. Every six months through the forgiveness period, income is verified. I see. Uh, and that's for a, a period of five years, and after that, then they're home free. Yes, sir. Except for those that are between 30 and 60 percent, it's a 15 year forgiveness. So those that are in between 30, 30.1 and under 60% of national median income, their forgiveness period is 15 years. Now, is there a percentage deducted as this forgiveness period? If it's 15 years and they, fought, they start making too much money, how much, what percentage are they? Is it work on a percentage base per year? Yes, sir. You get time, it's just time. like time served. You get, okay. you know, a, a, a five year is you know, 20%. Forget it. Forget it. So this is an enhanced 235 program. It really, well, it, 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 we don't like that word, you know. But, well, 235, you know, correlates to big public housing. These are individually owned homes. Yeah, but it's you know, based on the same. Yes, sir. It, the, 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 a lot of the rules are the same. Yeah. A lot of the paperwork is the same because it is HUD money. Yeah. So the bottom line is that people would. Come up here. And I guess you set up the station or something, and someone would come up here and, and apply. Right. We would we would put notices in the newspaper. We would work with community groups. Churches are usually a real good. Honestly, most of the people who qualify this program are elderly or disabled. Mm -hmm. You know, or both. Yes, sir. Or both. <laughs> or both. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there are there are people out there working with those people anyway right now or other right. service organizations. So we get a lot of our leads from those folks as well, but we will we will and we'll have flyers at City Hall and, and that's sort of thing. What is more than six meets the criteria? 
I'm sorry. What did more than six meet the criteria? Max of six. So it's the first six. <laughs> well, it's not the first six. I mean, the first six that, 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 that qualify. It's the most qualified. Yeah. If there, there will be times. If you, have, if you have a good intake and we have a whole lot of applicants, there will be more than six that will qualify, but we'll recommend to the council to award to the six most qualified. And we will, we will tell you right up front, if you want to save yourself some hassles, accept the state scores, because that way you're not involved in it. The state is going to score every one of those applications. But it'll be left up to the council to determine you have who's to, going you to, have to You have to award them, yes, sir. The council has to award them. Award them so I put that money on this, your this question popped up the last time. I don't think there's really any clarification on it. Uh, even though that the city council actually uh, calls the last shot on that once you've determined who qualifies and so forth, <clears throat> it wasn't made clear to me. Uh, like some people said, well, the city could put up for whatever it was for two thousand dollars. I'm not sure. Well, but it doesn't necessarily have to come from the city. In other words, if a church organization had a uh, a, a member that would qualify for this program, that church could put up that money. Correct? Yes, sir. I like that. And your economic development corporation can yeah, legally, like can that. legally, like you can, uh, if you read the 4B sales tax law, it says supported public housing. Even though this isn't public housing, you think of it, it's still income right. sensitive housing. Well, I like the idea that just any uh, organization could put that money up. Right. Are there any matching funds? Though, yes, ma'am. The, the maximum the program can cost you is $12,000 cash. For the five. five. For the, for the six, six. For the six homes. Okay. That's the max, that's the most it can cost the city. Well, and again, again, a organization can donate that money, and we don't collect that money until the end of the project, too. We charge no application fees. You don't pay a penny if you don't get funded. If you don't get the program, you don't know us about Okay. Now, your salary, again, is derived partially from that 2000 bucks and partially from the a grant itself, correct? Yes, sir. Mostly from the grant. So there's no additional The $2,000 basically, since the state changed the program from 2006 to 2007, you now have to go through the closing. <laughs> so you've got the final you've got just the, yeah. you've got the normal closing costs that you would have in any kind of a program. Yeah. And lo and behold, when they changed the rules, guess what? They didn't change the funding. Imagine that. You got a question. Does the funding cover the demolition of existing structures? It, it co of that house. Of that of that house. Yes, yes sir. And the, you know the bad news for the resident though is that they got to find a place to live during the construction period. How long is the construction period? We try to say ninety days, and we hope for sometimes it's one twenty. There will be these guys that build these homes follow this program around the state. You know they they build five at a time or six at a time. So it used to be five. I'm stuck on that number now. But they go around and follow the program, and you know they'll have a crew that comes in and does six slabs. They'll have, you know, they just they just keep it rolling. Well, since this is the same crew, how are they able to uh, justify bricking and, and buying appliances for this house when another area of work was that because of the materials cost? The materials cost, and 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 to be honest with you, we do this program all over the state, and believe me, when you're out in Wink, Texas. You know, or someplace like that, or Marfa, or someplace yeah, like that. that. You know, they've got to go. They've got to go miles and miles and miles oh, just for building supplies. So, so yeah. you know, so that's going to. You know, we do this program statewide, and we charge. You know, the, their same amount of funding, same amount of fees statewide. So it's, you know, it's going to be a little more profitable in some areas. Mm -hmm. It's going to be less profitable <clears throat> in others. What if the applicant has an existing loan on the property in question? You know, they. Uh, the bank is going to dead gum sure take that first on a brand new house as opposed to the house they're going to tear down. And, you know, we we personally built over 160 projects. I mean, you know, at, we've built over a thousand homes since 94. Everything can happen. You know, what happens when, they get, when a person dies? We, I've, I was a city manager for a long time. I just retired after 20 years and one day of public service. And uh, <laughs> and uh, we, you know we've had people die during the construction process during that 90-day period, and there's there's just scenarios set. I mean, this is a national program. This is not everybody's first rodeo in this. There's a scenario set up for just about everything you can imagine to happen because when you're working with basically elderly people and disabled people, then you know that's that those kind of things happen. 
So does the bank loan then get paid off out of the grant money for that particular house? Is that no, what sir. What they what they will do is that they will take the back. They will replace the value of what the existing. They will, if they have if they have a mortgage payment, if yeah. they have a mortgage payment, they will not. They will no longer have a mortgage payment, but the bank will have first. First um, lien. Sir? First lien. Yes, sir. First lien. So the bank is able to take, uh, they will forgo the, say, the $10,000 that's owed or whatever, and, and they will forgo that loan, and then they will reapply the lien as a first lien on the house. Right. And they're able to do that? Yes. How do they get paid? Wow. How, how, do, do, how does who get paid? How does the bank get paid? The bank gets paid by, by the program. Wow. The, the replacement on the home, that's why if you look at the program, there's $500,000 in the program. We're building six homes at about fifty-eight, fifty-nine thousand. That's how, and, and you know the mortgage on these pieces of property, average value of a home that we tear down is less than twenty thousand dollars. It's usually around eleven, and they're going to guarantee to be well. We have to appraise them. At, somebody has to appraise them at around fifty-eight when we get finished. So there's there's a lot of equity built in already. Do you have any pictures? Just the just the things that are on the fire. And, and again, how many bedrooms are there? Sir? How many bedrooms? The maximum is three, but they're going to be very small if we do it. And the, and the house can't be tailored to each homeowner. We do have a cookie cutter. Right. You know, we don't let people move windows and things like that, but we will let some other things happen that don't cause a redesign. Sounds kind of habitat. They use the Not same type of floor plan, just kind of flip flop it or That's right. porch up. Or we do allow them to choose colors. You know, like tile and paint and that sort of thing. Question I have was, you talk about income, what about net worth? Is there an effect? On All that goes into it. If, they're, if their assets uh, kick them up into... So you do take into account their net worth, like if they got 10 acres of land but they have no income, 